Hi all, this is DJ Amit and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a slap house bass sound like this. Using Ableton's Wavetable Synth and Inbuilt Stock plugins. So let's get on with it. In the beginning, let's start off with adding a MIDI track. Let's add a Wavetable Synth to that. And let's copy the clip down and let's color the clip. So let's set our amp envelope, attack to zero, sustain completely up and release to 22 milliseconds. For our first oscillator, let's go here and select filter and the wavetable type is frequency FM. Wavetable position, let's select, uh, let's keep it to 13%. In the FX section, let's select FM, tune it to 50%. Amount to 3.1 and now for the oscillator 2 Let's keep it to the basics and move it up to the saw wave to around 67% Let's come to the unison and let's select the classic unison type. Let's keep the voices at 3 and Turn the amount down to 0. Let's hear how the bass is sounding All right now let's move to the filter section the filter dB, I will select 24 dB, move the frequency knob all the way down, analog circuitry type MS2. And now we want to add some modulation to this frequency. So we're going to add the envelope 2 for that. So let's go and envelope 2, attack 0, decay at around 150, sustain completely down and release to 19 milliseconds. Let's go to matrix, click at frequency so that frequency shows up in the mod matrix. Let's go under envelope 2 because that's what we are using to modulate the frequency cutoff. And let's click here and type in 74. Let's hear the sound now. Okay, it's dead right now, so we're gonna add some drive. Let's push the drive up to 20 dB. That's much better. Now let's add some bitch modulation using envelope 3. So attack again 0, sustain down, release at 88 and the decay we're going to put to around 9.30 like yeah so much. Let's go to mod matrix and we'll go to the pitch section and we are going to use envelope 3 for that and we're going to select 24 semitones up. Yes, we are almost done. So next what we need to do is process this further. Let's go into audio effects. First things first, let's add a utility device. Now let's click on the bass mono switch and select 150 hertz. Second, let's go into the delay. Yes, the delay. And turn these guys down, turn this into time from sync. It was in sync earlier. Click on it and turn it into time. Remove this link off. Okay, feedback down, mode to jump, put off the filter, drive it to 35% and the right time, let's move it to 9 milliseconds, right? After this, we need a saturator, saturator, yes, and we're going to put off the color and we're going to push the drive to 6 dB. Let's hear it now. Let's hear it without this harsh effect. You can hear the effect is subtle, but it's there. And after that, we want to add the OTT. And for the OTT, we want the output at around 8.7 and the time at 2.57 and the amount at 61%. Now let's hear the bass. And finally, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add some side chain. Um, we're gonna go into my racks and I'm gonna select 
side chain and that's it and then let's move this up to around yeah somewhere around here So that's it guys for this video. If you really enjoyed it, please hit that like button. That will really help me a lot and I'll see you in the next one.